In this video, we're going to show you how to get through the initial setup and configuration of WPDB Manager. WPDB Manager is a plugin that allows you to create backups, optimize, repair, uh, and do even more to your database uh, that WordPress runs on in order to allow you to, you know, obviously having uh, regular backups is a wonderful thing and to make sure your database is fast and responsive uh, all the time. So once you've installed it, uh, there's a couple of error messages you'll see straight away. And what we can see here is that the backup folder is not writable and the backup folder might be visible to the public. So the first error message saying that the backup folder is not writable is actually because the backup folder doesn't exist. The plugin doesn't create it. Uh, so that's something that we need to do uh, by ourselves. So here you can see I've connected to my server uh, via FTP. So what we're going to do is show you how you can actually fix these two errors and then get on with uh, actually using the plugin. So what you first need to do is navigate into the WP content directory, uh, and then you need to create a folder and you actually need to call it uh, just something simple backup DB. So once you've created that and it's confirmed that you have actually created it, what you want to do is jump back into your actual WordPress dashboard and refresh and hopefully we'll see that error message uh, disappear. And it's gone, so now we can get to the second one. Uh, as you can see, it says that uh, the backup folder may actually be visible uh, to the public. So uh, what the plugin developers have done is included uh, a file that you can very, very simply and easily move from one directory to another and then rename it, and then that will actually go and protect that directory. So what we can do is just open up the plugins directory and then the WPDB manager directory. And in here you can see there is htaccess.txt. So I'm just going to, well, we'll just actually move it because it, uh, it doesn't need to be anywhere in particular. I'll move it into backup DB. So what we need to do now is rename uh, that file from htaccess.txt to .htaccess. Uh, so that's been done. What we need to do now, once again, is just go and refresh the uh, database dashboard and that error message will disappear. So those are the first two things that you need to do before you can use this plugin. They're very, very straightforward to do. And uh, though the second step is definitely optional, you should consider it to be required because the last thing you really want anyone having access to uh, is a backup of your database. That's just not a great idea uh, for your website security. So I hope this has been easy to follow and you can do this to get up and running with this plugin because it does have a great deal of features. If you're unsure about anything, just please feel free to ask in the comments below and we'll clarify for you.